you look so like 2005 pop and you look rock. so 2000 and like, late i got that boom boom pow Hey guys, I want to take a moment to thank our sponsor for this episode, VaporDNA.com, and sponsoring my fight against Will Paco in Ella's Mania 2022 at Skank Fest Vegas. Guys, VaporDNA.com is an online website that services all your vapor needs and provides it you at the lowest price. Point out of everyone, use code DYING10 to get 10% off your entire purchase. Remember, this is for 21 and up. So remember, guys, nicotine is addictive chemical. This is for 21 and up. But if you're a vapor, you're if you like vaping, no, okay, you like vaping. Are you gonna vaping. are you you've been you gonna use vaping. vapor DNA this time yeah, around, right? Vapor DNA. Use code DYING10. D Y I N G 10 for 10% off. Again, that's capital D Y I N G 10. For ten percent off, guys. Thank you so much. Once. We started. Oh boy, we already started. We started. Welcome well, to Dope the Been Dying, the, the Sunday, Sunday morning, morning late show. show. Oh, wow. Wow. We One could, time I jumped in, he just fucked he had it. to fuck it up. <laughs> we were in it, unison bro. too, bro. <laughs> this guy has no comedic <laughs> instinct sometimes, bro. Just, <laughs> y'all crazy, laughing? Yo. Y'all I'm laughing. not laughing. I'm. Bro, are you smiling? I'm smiling. Astonished. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, A yeah, lot yeah, of smiles yeah, around yeah. the room. <laughs> That's that comedic intelligence. Oh, we were late. <laughs> it was my, it was, it was my fucking birthday. We didn't post. Yeah, it was your know. birthday. But Happy that's not... fucking birthday, man! Is twenty five now? Man. <laughs> Why you sound Boy, like you a, a Drake entourage member? <laughs> man is twenty five now. Man is twenty five. Chit chat goal. You know? What's your chit chat goals? <laughs> <laughs> bro, you twenty five right now, bro. Do you feel? Bro. I'm do you do these like twenty one? Couldn't even uh, drink it. No, you mean, no, you 20. Mean, yeah, 20. 20. 20. Wait, we've known him. Remember when I turned 21 at the bar and uh, uh, everyone wished me a happy birthday and Gary turned to me and goes, how old are you? I go, 21. He goes, what? Did you really just turn 21 at Arlo? Mm-hmm. Wait, what? DC's known you for five I've whole years? I've known this motherfucker since he set foot on this soil, bro. Yeah. I think, yeah. the, first, I think, <laughs> I think the week he went to the comic strip to start bro, doing comedy. That just sounded like a Bible verse. I know. I knew the bro. first week this man like, stepped on New York City soil. Native, bro. Bro. I slapped this nigga I with Timberland. I'm not a Native American, bro. I'm not sure if he was here for a week or a month before I met him, but I met him almost as soon as he came here, bro. That's funny. Uh, sorry. I think I was here for like... Maybe like two, three weeks. Not even, bro. I think I was here for like a couple of weeks. The first like two weeks was me like vlogging, making, playing Fortnite, smoking weed. But you met David at the comic strip. At the I time. met, yeah, I met David. I met David Levine at the comic strip. We became friends. We went to do a mic at Black Cat. Black Cat Les, which this is, is still before a thing. you took the comedy class. This is like no, this is like while I'm like, so you did, were in the comedy did, class. Blue, Yo, can started. I say something? I was in the class. Uh, can, I, can I say something or real out, quick? Or just finished. I saw Dylan have a set last week uh, in Connecticut when we were performing yeah. for the Filthy Show. Yeah, yeah. He was headlining, mm-hmm. and he killed that shit. Yeah. And I just want to say it took five years <laughs> for him to get D.F. Sweetler's stink knowledge of comedy <laughs> off of him. <laughs> <laughs> it took five years to rip that what, shit up. What we learned is <laughs> I don't he's got to go out of town more. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have D.F. on the podcast. I think he knows more than you believe. No, I'm sure those be the most um, genius, prophetic. Like, they'll say something like that shit does make a lot of sense. Yeah, bro. but then he'll also tell you like never make never make an, uh, a joke about your name, and that's like my best joke. Yeah. <laughs> right now, nah, I don't think right so. Now, I don't right think now. that's your best joke. Also, I don't believe so either. Uh, me and my girlfriend, like, Carolyn, always is jokes. like, I hate that joke. But there's a lot of jokes you need to revisit, though. There's, um, you love. You always tell me this. Like, you I want, do, want I do, me to I, was, I, was, I went back and I was expanding on shit last night, like three, four jokes. Right, right. No, I couldn't stop writing. And it got awkward because I was writing something about Mexican people. Mm-hmm. And for some reason, that whole ten minutes, fifteen minutes, I was on that train writing and writing. Yeah. Mexican people, Spanish people kept sitting next to me. And I felt weird about what I was Damn. writing, bro. You know, I hope nobody's reading over my shoulder <laughs> yeah. right now. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. But they were just speaking pure Spanish. But now there's definitely some shit because we think like, oh, this is done. I started that when I was early, but. You're better now, yeah. so you can make that shit better. Nah, I can't. Yeah. Nah, I can't. <laughs> nah, I can't. You can't, though, nah, bro. Nah, I can't, bro. Can, my, bro. My first bit that, that, that killed was a make-believe bit. It was nothing was really real about it. Now, except for the, the, I did 17 push-ups. <laughs> nah, bro. I used to kill it, bro. Chill. You nah. can't do 25 push-ups yeah, right now, bro. Yeah, the military. That's a Let's minimum go. requirement. You have to be able to do And it better be real. Right? 
Is this gonna be on camera? Uh, no, it's not gonna be on camera. All right. No, 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 hey, hey, you're making a mistake right now. You're gonna drop everything. Is you? Come back, bro. Let's get this on video. <laughs> no, no, I right, want right, you. Yeah, listen, we're gonna keep it. talking. But what I was gonna say is. So yeah, he came, but yeah, you. Can oh no, I, I could though. probably no. Listen, of course, it's some. You, yeah, you yeah. want to hear the first bit though? I can't really remember it. I could probably look it up on my phone real quick though. I'm only doing. I said the joke was 17, so I'm feeding 17. Nah, it's 25, dog. Why 25? 25, dog. That's the mark of a man, dog. 25 for your minimum requirements to be in the military. <laughs> no, first of all, no, it's not. You it's, gotta not? Do, it's not 25? It's way more than that. No. Oh, the minimum is, like is less than that. It's like, you gotta do like 13. 13? Wow. Yeah, some That's shit like wow. that. The military is only 13? And like no, 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 no. Not to pass, but like to sign up. But they, they ask, like, yeah, that's can you even do a push up? Pull ups. Can you do 10 push ups? Move your feet. Lose your seat. Those are the shoes I gave you? Yeah. Oh, damn, I suck. I don't like that you said that in the mic. Yo, those are the shoes I gave you. That's mad, like. Hey, what you know me. Dylan? Okay, let's see. See what Dylan does it's here. It's not good conditions for motherfucker. There we go. That's, two. That's, two. One. That's one. That's one. Four. That's one. You gotta military. go all the way down, buddy. What do you mean? I, I, I have limited space here, buddy. No, no, no. You can go all the way down. <laughs> I get, this yes, I can. <laughs> buddy, you couldn't even sit down and do Chris Paul's. I want to see your chest touch the mic. <laughs> your chest gotta touch the floor, my friend. No, chest gotta touch the mic no, at least. Yeah. I do. No, bro. Okay, okay that's one. He's doing wide ones. Okay, yeah. all right, all the way up, buddy. Two. two. Yeah. There we go. There we go. That's two. two. That's You're two. Good. There we go. Yeah. Lock them elbows. Three. Three. All right. Four. 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 <laughs> so, so this dude couldn't before. even do. He couldn't even do fifteen. He did nine nah, total. y'all cheating. I'm done. <laughs> he did nine total, dog. He was a cheating. Seven I'm tired. Ups, I'm done. <laughs> Seven I have limited space. Yo, dog. You don't need that much space, dog. Yeah, that's true. Bro, I, you do need space. This, this dude said that he had wide shoulders, bro. That's no, okay. <laughs> you gotta have space. Do the, you can do an invert. You can do the elbows close, that's close hard. by. That's, that's hard even easier. Do, that's this? a hard no. no. That's harder to do. Put your hands closer no, bro, together, no, no, Kev. No, no, no. There we go. Right there. Put your elbows in. Bring your elbows in. So you have the space. This nigga, Kev. This fat PE coach I don't do to. You just sit back in the corner. Uh, you want me to show you what it is you, you have to do? How do you energy. get fit down there, bro? Okay, buddy. This uh, guy's so fit down there. Yeah. This is what's happening right now. We're doing push ups. Oh, oh you're doing push up on the episode. All right, all right, all right. Uh, man, this is going to be terrible audio. Hey, Shout yeah, out yeah, that. This is going to be weird. Go. I'll, hold, I'll hold it because I'm nice. I understand how to produce a show. Get in. Kevin Sanchez down on the run. See you. <laughs> Are you ready, Kevin? Yeah, put it to the exact, exact <laughs> what I was thinking. Oh, yeah, right, he's saying some crispy ones. How do you Three, feel doing this? Four, five, uh -huh. six, uh -huh. seven, eight, Dylan, <laughs> Dylan, Dylan, Eleven. Eight, gay, Thirteen, Dylan, Fourteen, Dylan, Fifteen, Dylan, Sixteen, Dylan, <laughs> Seventeen. 18, 19, 20. Come on, come on, you guys, squeeze it out, squeeze it out, squeeze it out. Wow, you got five more there. Jeez, man. <laughs> Yo, the both of yes. Kevin the Feldman. both of yes. See. Yo, by the way, let's not ask DC to do 25. He's going to do 45. Dude, that's that fast muscle switch. <laughs> Listen, bro, when you're the youngest at three, you got to fucking you you know, earn something. your keep. You know? It's fucking tough. But yeah, you came here, met this guy. He was 20. You know, just to recap on what we were yeah. saying, and now he's fucking twenty five. Came a long fucking way. What do, What do you guys What do you guys think was best trait of young Dylan of when you when you first met Dylan? Hey, no, how about this? Sorry, first thoughts when you met me. <clears throat> first thoughts, like first overall, like judgment, like where I came from, who I was. I just thought I was like I was like this kid just looks like a goofy skater kid I would hang out with in high school. Mm. That's honestly like so that's literally what I thought. Me, me and Kevin are still breathing heavy over here, so thank you for answering yeah, that yeah. first. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. I, did a, I, did I forgot y'all even did those push-ups. I, I did, I did a full you. tweet. We did it. Kev's, we did it. Kev's, <laughs> I had to prove a motherfucker wrong tired. <laughs> Bro, I'm I had gonna... to prove a motherfucker wrong tired. <laughs> Jeez. How do athletes do it? You know what I mean? How was the game? <laughs> Get the fuck out of my face. Yeah, I am tired. <laughs> I'm tired. My big toe hurt. <laughs> what did what you, you, you think when you first met me? When I first met you, I was like, oh, this guy could be a star. 
Oh, I know that's mad gay to say. What? Well, hey, what's the biggest thing you? And then looked? I saw you on stage. I was like, maybe, maybe not. not. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I still thought that though. What's uh, the? What's, I, I just knew you had to work hard though. What's the worst thing? Like, what's like the worst trait you've seen? Like my first year, like either a bad joke, a bad bomb. Give me, give me a young Dill story. First year. The first year. <sighs> well, I didn't really hang out with you your first year here. That is true. Me and Kevin, I not became friends late, but. You guys did. I, we and you were friends first, and I was like, yo, we should try to get Kevin to do a sketch, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. Try to get that popping off. And we did one sketch, yeah. and then I replaced you for like a summer. Then No, we did, We never got that sketch off, really, with the... with the. I, th- I think we kind of did it. Well, no, Kevin we was away for voice. a while. This is all This is all post coming out of pandemic stuff. Then so during the pandemic, pandemic... Well, through the pandemic. Through no, the pandemic, when, we were talking about sketches, and then... We After shot a sketch pandemic. with you and Josh and um uh, freaking Alex George. Shout out to Alex George just got passed at New York Comedy Club. Shout out oh, to yeah. Alex, Alex George. Shout out to George. He's gonna come on this podcast too. He's gonna come but, back um, home. But yeah. Um But uh, you just had I feel like you were super ambitious and confident, but you didn't really know why, and I think it was like confu- it was confusing. I think it was oh, also yeah. really funny. My favorite stories is just like the bomb stories you guys remember from Broadway. The bomb story. I mean, yeah. he remembers more of them than I do. The I one I remember, that much. the one, nah, you were bombing. Yeah, we were. We, relax. Yeah, we both. Right? Yeah, we but all like, I remember the one in the bomb in DC was crazy, oh, shit. bro. You know what's so? Who asked me recently that was like, what's like a bad bomb story? And I was like, I don't think I have one. And I was like, oh wait, no, nah, I got one. I got one. No, 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 like, but like a significant one it was my DC one. I I bombed uh-huh. so <laughs> bad. Oh, you talking about Washington DC? I think. <laughs> By the way, you that was you, awful, bro. <laughs> I feel like that, that's what I feel like that. What you told me, you know, was more infuri- you know what was also really infuriating about that night. Yeah. It was such a bad setup. I was so angry, and then DC went up and did well. Yeah, but he hadn't been on stage for months. <laughs> yeah, and then I was like, oh, oh, bro, I'm gonna kill. I've been yeah. like doing really well, <laughs> and by the end of my set, we like by the end of my set, my, my last line was. Everyone was leaving. Everyone crash. was leaving, going downstairs. People were leaving, walking downstairs. Like I'm done because I was just berating people at this point. He, he walked and some of the room. I, sure. I'm walking <laughs> half the room because there was like a bar. They're talking during the show. I'm yelling at them, being an idiot, being bro, bad. They were talking comment. right in the front row, bro. Having a whole congregation, bro. And I could, and I, was, and I wasn't having it. Not even gonna lie. I told DC I go, as they're as the people were walking downstairs. I go. All right, guys, no, no, please go downstairs. Uh, uh, um, uh, all right, DC, I'm out of here. I hope all of you guys die in a car accident tonight. And I just ended on that. And yes, you did. I heard no laughter except for you. <laughs> That's the only laugh I heard. And then I got off stage. I'm so <laughs> angry. And then DC goes, bro, that was amazing. You know, I, feel, I feel like every time he has a wild meltdown, I'm there, bro. I feel like I, feel like I shouldn't hey, DC, be around. Can you stop bro. coming to shows? <laughs> bro. But that was the I, when you told me about what happened with Josh. I was like, "Oh, Josh oh, had a DC say, night." Speaking of bombs, I was like, "Josh had a Washington DC night." It sounds like, bro. Oh wow! Well. Tell, tell him about uh, Connecticut. I mean, you had to follow that. I heard you had to try to oh. clean it up, reset the room, and do your so shit. Here, so uh, bro, here, I was like, I was, I was chucking the di- jo- uh, jiving, bro. Okay, oh, was... so let's set it up for the people. So we had a Connecticut Started show. Doing jazz hands. We had a Connecticut <laughs> show Thursday. It was supposed to be a Dope Up and Dying Connecticut show. We have Doped Up Comedy Club. Shout out Doped Up Comedy Club. Expanded to Thursdays. So it's just a, a scheduling conflict. We had to have DC. So sorry, everyone in Connecticut that really wanted DC Williams. The, all three of you will get him next time. Um, <laughs> not three people at the show. Three people of his, oh. that were his fans. Um, uh, he'll be a few fans out there. He'll yeah. be there next time. DC had to stay in New York and hold it down for the Thursday free show, which I heard was also pretty fun. This girl named Candace was supposed to pop out. Did she pop out? Nah. I got her. All right, maybe. Well, well, yeah, whatever. Yeah. She'll see you next time, though. Yeah. yeah. But so the Connecticut, sh- Connecticut show, Nico Pav, Kevin Sanchez. Oh, shout out Filthy Comedy, uh, Aisha, uh, and I was headlining. Uh, bro, she had two guest spots go up. These dudes are just going up doing, ugh, whatever material. Was was like, all right. Connecticut guys? Yeah, I was like, all right, no, whatever. I, I actually, the funniest thing I heard was the dude goes, the young, it was like a young kid who's doing like all the young, like I'm a young dumb kid, uh, you know, my at, and uh, <laughs> and what is the funniest joke was like he called it like the dentist store. Yeah, yeah. And they all like laughed at that. Like, the way he said it was like funny. I remember yeah. that. But um, <laughs> that was like ne- yeah, it was cute. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It was good. But bro, Nika goes up. I don't know. Rehost his set. Goes up and goes, hey, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. bro. Immediately, I was like, I think Nico's about to kill. Uh-huh. And dude, Nico, like, I was like, 
he was, I was like, how much time do you want? He's like, yeah, give me like 10 or 15, whatever. And I wasn't going to light him at like 8 or 10. But I was like, get this man the whole 15. He's yeah, killing. Yeah. He did his whole like ending Good joke. Him, and then, bro, the second Nico gets off stage, <gasps> half of the room, it's like a whole bar with big, like long tables in the middle. Half of the middle, like the whole middle, the whole guts in, of the bar, get up, go to the bar right to the right, and start ordering drinks and talking. Mm-hmm. Aisha goes up. She's doing her jokes, and they're just not listening. So she goes, "You know, let's just let's. That was so amazing. Let's just bring up your next comic." Yeah. She brings up Josh, and you, yeah, you tell so her. So she fucking. Oh, Nico went before Josh. Yeah. And he fucking murdered. murdered. And he f- and murdered. Josh took a shit after that. N- yeah. Nico murdered. Wow. Bro. Shout out Nico Path. Yeah. Shout out Nico Leveled. Path. <laughs> uh, let's not go that far, right? <laughs> but like, <laughs> bro, <laughs> no, he did bro, well. he, bro, he. Opened that room up. He did. He did. He did. He did that room that got room loud up. with Nico. They did. I'm not saying they. Nico killed. Yeah, yeah, he killed. Yeah. Um, and then Josh, you know, again, he's, he's up there. Half the bars at the. I mean, half the rooms at the bar, right now. And, and I don't think Josh noticed that. Why don't you think he noticed that? Because he told me he didn't notice it <laughs> in the car. <laughs> Yo, what made you think that? He said that shit. He said that shit to me, so I, I just wanted <laughs> so to. No, no, bro, 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 you not even, not even like didn't notice, uh, DC. When I tell you, Josh goes up there, try to listen. Josh goes up there, doesn't even like take a moment to say what's up, thank them, just goes. Oh um, wow! Like says like I like a joke about Aisha. Oh yeah, yeah, this way he fucked up. So. Bro, he just goes up there, grabs the mic, and just he goes, goes, "Why she come up in here without her burqa?" And I was like, I, one, I don't think anybody knew she was Muslim, so yeah. that. Bro, he, I didn't even, I didn't even get it. Yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah. yeah, I'm like, why did he say that? <laughs> so he he says that crickets. You know what he told me though about that? He said that he, she said it during her set. Mm-hmm. But no offense to Aisha, no one was listening. Nobody was really listening. <laughs> they were listening, yeah, but like yeah, they would yeah. tune out sometimes. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because she's not there yet. Yeah, yeah. It's what it is. But she's cool though. Damn, I'm never getting booked there again. But uh, <laughs> that's wild, no, but bro. But she's cool as fuck. No, no, she's amazing. She's no. amazing. No, no it, got up there I, listen. Like he was talking to Bonnie or some shit. No, it wasn't that. <laughs> yes, yes yeah, exactly. It was, it was like, one. Oh. It was one of those things of. Um, I think certain comics, it's, every room is different, and you gotta really with a a, a a room like that, you gotta like bring them in, be like, yeah, let's make fun of the venue, let's make uh-huh. fun of what we're doing here, let's all be on the same side. Mm-hmm. And sometimes they tune out if you're up there just being like, so yeah, I went to the store the other day, and they're just like, oh, you're just you're you're, you're telling one two, you're doing you're but doing also, your set, you're doing one two three depending four five. Depending on how you're making fun of a girl, people don't want to laugh. Women pull back on that. Yeah, bro. Girl, I mean, I made fun bad. of a chick right away, but not right in away. In the crowd, maybe. In the crowd. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, and I, I use that during my set uh, yeah. later. Oh but, yeah, uh, that bitch was crazy. Yeah, man. wild. But so, anyway, so bro. Josh is now Josh is in the like he's doing yeah. his set. He does his first bit, and I'm like, if this don't go right, he's gonna bomb. Bro, so he goes up there, does the Muslim joke. It bombs, and then no, 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 you didn't, you didn't say this, and then when it does nothing, he just goes, "All right, great, the room already hates me. We're starting great, we're doing good, something like that." It was just yeah. like, "Bro, you didn't even start yet," yeah, yeah. and he just a, a, a panic off the top, and then goes into a joke. I, I, I haven't heard the joke. I didn't, even, I don't remember it. I don't know if you know it. I don't think it was, a, it was a newer joke. I don't think it was a, a classic, as we call. Bro, I don't remember, bro. So I'm saying it was a newer joke. So. It's funny how you said Bonnie. I said, I said that to him. Yeah. I was like, bro, too much producer energy. I'm just like, <laughs> you can go up there and just talk your shit. <laughs> got to get out the attic. Got to get out. Got to get out the attic. So, uh, and bro, and by the way, Josh is funny. Josh funny. Is funny. One, Josh by is the funny. way, one of the funniest fucking people. By the way, ever met. He was killing in the car after the show. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> always does that. And when I told him that, he got so weird. And you were like, you told me yeah, you should never told him that. I was like, I was because I just said to him because he's funny. But I'm just like, bro, I feel like. It's like when, once you get on stage, you, like your thoughts, like you complicate your thoughts or something like that. Because no, when Josh is just ripping, standing in a conversation, he's a great he makes me laugh, bro. Yeah. He really does. And on podcasting. But sometimes he, it just gets weird, bro. You're just like, what's going on? So, about, so and he has, he has one you, joke about, he has one joke about, this. nah, listen, he has one joke about his kid, which is, I even said to him, I go, that's an amazing joke. It's a good joke. It also, it also humanizes you. Yeah. That should have been your first joke. You should have went up there, thanked them, said, I'm Josh. I know I'm a little old, but I'm hanging out with the young kids. Mm-hmm. And make some jokes like that, and mm-hmm. then go into it. Mm-hmm. Actually, I have a kid. Yeah. Hang out with these fucking idiots. I have a kid. Mm-hmm. And then go into your kid bit. They would have loved you, right? He just, it was just, I told him, I go, also, he didn't see half the room get out. And I was talking to him after. I go, you really didn't see it? He goes, no. I go, 
bro, they you had to like call the all if you went, yo, what's up, everyone? Mm-hmm. All their attention back. It would have been you, you were just talking while they were just ordering drinks. Yeah, nah, mm-hmm. the, to, the, his problem because that shit was mad bright. I couldn't see shit. Oh, bro, the yeah. So you have like spotlight. Sorry, like, it's super bright. Like you're performing in the club. It, it's actually a really good spot. <clears throat> no, but, but I'm saying when when you perform in those clubs, those type of spots where the people you that you give guys that, light, yes. that light is mad bright. It's a different no, setting. It is. I, I, that's why I was telling him you can't. I was telling him during his, I was like, yo, you gotta make sure back up a little bit because when you yeah. when you can see them, they can't see you now. Yeah, yeah. But. I felt this is what sucks about comedy. Josh bombs so hard, bro, and Kevin's next, and uh, we lit him early, and and bro, I was like, is, is Kevin gonna like do something? He's just not gonna address it. Mm-hmm. Kevin goes up there, grabs the mic. Bro, I was like, I'm sorry, Josh made you guys want to kill yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. Though. The whole room just lit you up. Have to, bro. The whole room lit up. You're cut, you know how they they're feeling. Like yeah. you know you need to. And see bro, it, and bro. it's so funny because again and uh, again and just how comedy is. You just watch Kevin have to again rehost the show again. Oh, because now no offense to Aisha, she's a little new at comedy. She did do five bro, minutes after so Josh. She didn't do five minutes. She oh, did, um, no. she did forty seconds. The joke. This is what she said. Oh yeah, wait, wait. They all she forgot. Did one joke. They, she did one joke. She was. They all forgot about her burger thing. Whatever she said about her burger. <laughs> Josh remembered and her. Those are the only two people in the room. <laughs> so they remember. The day I don't know the joke. Right? They remember what she said, right? Yeah, yeah. So no one else. This is what Josh don't know, right? I knew this was gonna I knew this was gonna be terrible. Cause she comes to me and goes, you know that burger thing he said kind of hurt my feelings. And I was gonna turn on like it shouldn't though. Because he bombed. Because he, you know, it spoke for itself. <laughs> the room spoke. The, the room spoke. The room took your hijab off, wrapped it around him, and then exploded. Oh. <laughs> All right, you fucking Haji. <laughs> yo, also you got, yo, it's so me. I, I, by the way, I love you, Aisha. But Aisha, like, if you ever do bomb too hard, it's also you look at you like it's really in your DNA, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yo, I see. You, do you? Do you? Yo, Ma, the Prophet Muhammad, yo, always finds a way, dog. <laughs> <laughs> on and or off stage. On, on and off. Yo, but dog. So she says. Name shit. this episode is. She goes up. No, no, stop it. <laughs> no, no. She goes up Jokes. there. She goes up there. Joke about everyone. And. She fucking says something about, you know, the hijab is a woman experience. And she starts going into the history oh, of she it. she got serious. She got serious. Oh. And then she, then she sounded like she was going to tear up. She goes, and uh, let's bring up the that. next comic. I do not Gosh. remember like that. I, I, you know why you don't remember that? Yo, that? Kevin, you are. Where the hell did your mind go? Did you, take, did you like, did weed inhale? I don't you know. You also probably don't remember that because you did well, though. Yeah, you don't remember that because <laughs> you have to go up next. I, go, I remember everything when I do well. <laughs> no, no, he walked out. <laughs> Dylan wasn't even in the room when, when, when she went up there. I don't even want to say you do left. <laughs> I might have I might have been pissing. If yeah. I do okay, I remember almost everything. If I do very well at night, sometimes I don't remember, I don't remember what shit. Yeah, yeah. Bro. Nah, dude, the greats have, the, the great have short term memory. If you win, you remember that shit. If you lose, that's I won. It. That's it. But yo, I <laughs> I don't know what happened. I just know I did good. <laughs> Is that me? <laughs> I don't know. Yo, yo, so yo, Kev. Kevin goes up there, and honestly, you did like a couple jokes on Josh. You're like, mm. yeesh, man, it is hard to watch your best friend eat shit for ten minutes, and like something, and like comedy, he did like bro. he did like three. Oh, by the way, Aisha went up and just did a joke, and it just fell flat, and then just went, all right, let's meet up your next time again. I'm like, yo, I feel bad for fight, Kev. Fight, man, you gotta so, fight. So, and then go, she goes up, she gets, and then sorry, Kev just starts going, yo, bro, I'm sorry, I I I, I love my buddy, I love Josh, you know, it just it, it sucks to have to the the beat down on him. And then, bro, I go up there, I do my thing, whatever. And then after, we're in the car, and it, it, immediately, like, I don't know. When did it start? I don't know, but oh, it was like, we just started, like, roasting oh, no, for we like all, an hour. But we were smoking after the show at the picnic table. Oh, and he was like, he would just be, like, talking about, he was like, all of a sudden, I saw him talking about, like, Judaism. <laughs> I was like, yeah, bro. And after tonight, honestly, you made me uh, feel upset to be one. <laughs> and I'm just saying shit like that. And, yeah. and then all of the people who have to show who are hanging out are dying, bro. Oh, and yo, you know he's like that. And bro, <laughs> at one point, yo. at one point, I hit him with so many. He was sitting there at the table, just Steve. not looking, eating it. <laughs> no, no, he was honestly, bro. He took it like a no. Champ. He took it like a champ. He took it like a champ. No, nah, bro, I'll be real with you. I would have walked away. I, I would have been in the car. I don't. I can't handle that kind of lashing, dog. He was getting lashed. I would. On, I would have been like. I would have been. I would. I would have been to the bitch. Yeah. I would have been out. You know what? Like, this is. This is. This I don't need this. You know what Dylan said? This is stupid. Nah, you know what Dylan said? Yo, he goes. He goes. This is payback for the first time I met you. <laughs> 
because yo yo I said to him I, I bro they all die and as they're dying I just lean in I look over I go this is payback this is payback for the first time I ever met you and bro they all kind of like as they all seem to lean in and they hear that bro they die again and he just starts telling me like you see his face go like man chill like why and I was I like I hate when he gets like that on me I'm like Josh just be a dick bro yeah, yeah. I like when you're oh, a no, dick no no, <laughs> no, no, no for an hour in the car he was killing dogs no, no. <laughs> I, I will say this I, I had a genuine moment with Josh also because uh, we were talking afterwards and he was like yo you know I don't often get thrown with this much pressure like I don't often get thrown like on the road but to do like pressure on the road so he's like I, more he's like bro I appreciate you guys like even shitting on me because he's like I like that pressure. You know, that's why I fuck with Josh. Because when we did that um, show in, um, not PA, uh, uh, the Poconos, Josh was the reason after I saw him go up and kill, I was like, oh. It's, it's possible. It's possible. Mm-hmm. Like, just because the just because that room didn't work for the first two guys. You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. Do you know how many times Josh has shown me it was possible? In Connecticut, he showed me it was very not possible. But, <laughs> but dude, we got in the car, and he just starts, you know, he just starts going like. Started crying. <laughs> why you? Why don't do him dirty? Don't do him dirty. Yo, he started crying, like, dog. He started crying. Nah, bro. He starts going. He started, he started, he he started blaming him. his son and shit. <laughs> he was like, "You gonna keep getting my kid?" And he was like, "Is that gonna you, dog?" Bro, he starts going. He was like, he was like, honestly. He's like, I would not be, I would not be sad if, like, you know, we all died in a car accident tonight. Yeah, he's, like, yeah. he's like, no, he's like, honestly, just dealing with Nico, <laughs> just dealing with Nico. I want Kevin to live to tell the story. <laughs> and, bro, at one point, we just stopped talking about it. We're like, you know, we're done, we're done, we're done. Yeah. And we just smoke and joint, and then he just starts talking about Russia and Putin and nukes and bombs yeah. and shit like that. And he literally says the word bomb. He goes, yeah, bro, there's bombs and shit. And Nico just takes a puff of the drug. Goes, nah, bro, the only bombs in this car. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> and yo, nobody caught it. And then Kev Watch goes, there, Kev goes, wait, y'all just hear what Nico just said? <laughs> Nico just said, nah, bro, there were bombs in this car. And we all laughed for Kev, <laughs> which is also hilarious. Yeah, was, you heard an Irish car bomb, no. Israeli car bomb. <laughs> bro, it was, that bomb, bro, it was whatever. one of those things where I, I said one thing and he goes, Dylan, you know I'm behind you. I can choke you, right? <laughs> Like I, I literally. But here's the thing. I started saying jokes. I don't know if you saw me. I would say a joke and go. <laughs> no, I didn't see that. I'd be like, I'd be like, I'd be like oh, no. I didn't even hear him say that to you. I would say something. And be like, oh no, Josh. <laughs> and we focus. I was like, I'm ready for Josh to come up behind me. I, 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 the only thing I didn't like. I don't care if Josh bombed. What I do care about is like when you start doing that suicidal shit on stage. That's when you gotta like. Uh, Bro, I've spoken to. I hate people. when I hate when they comics do that shit. I talk to some audience members like everyone does. I want to kill myself before. right now. This sucks. Like they don't like when people just weird out the room, especially if it's not followed by a great joke. Like mm-hmm. they don't want to like feel that like that bad for you. That they don't really know you like that. You know what I mean? And you're just sitting there. Bro, making I started weird shitting on a lady like, in the front row. Yo, that shit was crazy, bro. Because honestly, well, he recorded this. I would like to see that part actually, because. The no, you have uniform. <laughs> uh, we can put I, I it up, but we're not gonna do all that, right? But like, maybe, <laughs> like, maybe. maybe. right? <laughs> we deleted. Stupid. I deleted that off my phone, by the way. I know I have it. Yeah. Um, but he on. was just. It started with me, because I called her crazy shit. Like I was just wilding. Mm-hmm. Cause I cause I went over to the table. I was like, you guys don't know each other. You guys know each other, and they're like, no, nah, we just met. And I was like, oh, this is why you guys are tight. Y'all judging each other right now, mm-hmm. right? Like whose makeup is better, who's not? Look at her with the Ariana. Kev got him talking. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. then they got him. They got a little riled up. She's trying. No, she's beautiful though. By the way, proved me right. Cause she was like, bro, they was, all looked at her. And they go, we were judging her. They mm-hmm. all did that, bro, mm-hmm. with their eyes. And I pointed it out. The whole crowd that was, was crazy. Bro, that wasn't even. It was also funny. I was talking to that girl. There was another. There was even another lady who only like, dropped her phone. Mm-hmm. I was like, you dropped something. And then she go, uh, in the middle of my session, she's like talking to her boyfriend. I go, what are you? What are you talking about? She's like, I'm just trying to. Explain how I'm gonna explain that Dylan thing to my students on Monday, and I was like, "Are you gonna tell your kids my jokes? Don't do that. Don't we <laughs> tell my jokes." And bro, I just started going in for like two or three minutes on this. That's how bad the education out. system is right now. They're trying to tell Dylan's jokes to their <laughs> students. Yo, that's fucking wild. I need to translate Dylan's <laughs> jokes, bro. I'm not, but not bro. Yo, for, bitch. How about you teach something? How about that? <laughs> yo? How about you stick to the curriculum? Nah, bro. I, I was thinking I speak for like, the masses. I was thinking more like. I'm, my jokes are so good, I am a curriculum. That's it's how you think about okay. it. Oh, bars. yeah. They were like, she was like, she interpreted that joke. Like, I got to tell the kids, don't end up like a Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> she took a picture of me, and she was like, he made fun of me. This guy is an awful person. This person. I just have 15 new fans, but they're all seven. Sounds like a- I take 14 years to bake. 
Well, like that way. Why are you guys so weird? With no, it? no, I just didn't. I was sort of doing math in my head. Oh no, it'd be like more like in like fourteen years, I'd be like, oh, that's the guy. Mm. I like him. Mm. Connecticut sounds like a place I would have cooked. I think you would have done pretty well. I uh, think so. Yeah. Then how was then, how was then how was the Thursday? Call Josh and tell him that. Like, yo, honestly. <laughs> oh, actually, no, like, hold up. <laughs> yo, can we call you Josh right tell now? You to DC should have came. Put your password. <laughs> the, yeah. Put your password. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you calling Josh from my yeah. phone? Call, uh, do you have your phone? Oh, I don't know my phone. I got you. Hold on. Yeah, let's call Josh. Uh, yeah, Josh Pallad, yo. How was Shout the Thursday show? Thursday show was good. Like twenty five people in that, and um, it was it was interesting. It started off. Don't lock it. I don't know the crowd. The crowd was a little, uh, crowd was a little tight, and um, but yeah, I did my thing. The comics went. They did their thing. Uh, Jamar, which Josh is really it? did his thing. Uh, I don't even know. Jamar neighbors, killed Jamar it? neighbors. Yeah, yeah. Do you know Josh's number. <laughs> what is it three one zero? Just make a little check under his sack, bro. Again, <laughs> <It's> twice, <laughs> like, twice. There's no put your phone there. <laughs> I do actually put my phone by my sack. I love a good sack phone. Phone sack. You gotta keep us protected. Here. Jamar neighbors are there. Sarah Weinshank, Kim Congdon, yeah, uh, yeah, Chris Faga. Uh, Jamar neighbors show. twerked on the wall and broke the sign down. Twice. Uh, twice? <coughs> he twerked twice. He knocked the sign down once. Oh, okay. And it kind of just uh, stayed there. Calm. Um. Yeah, but it was it was cool to see. Uh, it was cool to see his set in particular, bro. It was definitely it was it was. Let's get Josh's different. side of the story. This court is ringing. Hello? Hey, hey Josh, uh, you're on Doped Up and Dying, the Sunday Morning Smoke Show. Hey, what's that? Hey, hey, hey Josh, um, hey, D- Dylan Negri here from Doped Up and Dying, the Sunday Morning Smoke Show. Just wanted to uh, get your side of the story about uh, your bomb in Connecticut on Thursday. Did you really bomb as hard as everyone's talking about? Yo, honestly, bro, like, you're such a terrible comedian. <laughs> 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 yo, yo, at one point after the show, it wasn't even on purpose. I'm talking to Kevin and Josh, and I'm just like, yo, man, you know, if you go up there with the lights and this stuff, you gotta go back. And Kevin goes, oh, buddy, you're right. I appreciate you. Also, I know Josh is so upset to hear this right now because we need to learn by Dylan after you also bomb. <laughs> that's infuriating. That shit is awful, Josh. It was, it was pretty awful. Well, yeah, it's not what I expected from you. I would fall this low in my life, but, you know, it's a lesson learned, and, um,. <laughs> You know, I appreciate you as a friend, man. Um, but no, no, but but it, like but we were we were sentimental. But we were also things, talking. Bro. You 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 were you were cooking in the car afterwards. Oh yeah, and you said, "Why didn't you do that while you were on stage?" <laughs> <laughs> that seems appropriate. <laughs> what else did we say? Well, all I know is I was praying for the car to get hit by another car as we were driving. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted I Kevin to die too? Mangled in a in a burning fiery. By the way, we dropped. Off. I don't know if you saw, but somebody got stabbed to death right where we dropped him off. <laughs> Who am I wait, talking wait, to wait, right now? Stabbed someone to death? What happened? No, it was off? Kevin. We dropped Kevin. Yeah. Nah, but then, then who's then who's sitting right next to me? Um, that's just some other Dominican from New York. Get lo que Fabian. I'm coming to take Kevin fucking shit. It's really nice that you guys are still thinking. You heard that awful fucking idea. Spanish. Well, no, we're, this, this is the Sunday episode that we were supposed to record in the car. Also, by the way, Natalie goes, why don't you just record an audio only episode? And I go, what? We, no, we should have. No, we absolutely should have. Yeah. Um, and then just put visuals to it. Just thank you. Put, like, Look at him go. Fucking, like, yeah. Okay, yeah, let's talk about what we should have done. We got to do a cartoon, Josh, we do a cartoon Josh, episode. Did, did you learn anything? <laughs> That's infuriating. What did you learn, Josh? That's such an infuriating question, isn't it? I learned that if I want to make it anywhere in this world, I have to be like Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> and, what's that and, and, and what does that mean to you? It means just go up on stage and talk like a dork for a few <laughs> <laughs> Josh, listen, those nights happen to everybody, okay? It's never happened to us, but, you know, you know it's no, okay that true. it happens to you. That's not true. I watched DC bomb in uh, Atlanta City. What'd you say? I said, DC, you're making it worse. <laughs> I'm making it worse. I watched you bomb in Atlanta City, Josh, you could have been worse. I could have been there and killed, too. And then, <laughs> then you would have been the only one who didn't kill, bro. Listen, man. I have full moons sometimes. <laughs> All right, man. Appreciate Josh, you calling uh, in. Uh, also, by the way, I mean, 
Josh bombed so hard, he was paying for his drinks after the show. <laughs> Comics drank for free at the show. <laughs> no, no, she closed the tab on us. We were drinking so much. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Josh, hold on, hold on. Yo, Josh, Josh, did you know that she closed the tab on us because of you, because of us too? <laughs> we were <laughs> heavy, bro. And, 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 bro, what are y'all doing to me? I'm getting a, yo, how much y'all drink? Yo, bro, we, I must have had like five, six. What? Drinks. <laughs> <laughs> what? Open to the middle of fucking nowhere for me to bomb, bro. They deserve to give us the whole fucking bottle. That's no, true. no, 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 yeah. no, no. Yeah, you Josh, speak, give him a better speak, show. Edit that out. Josh, book. speak, speak for <laughs> yeah, all right, yeah, buddy. I love you. <laughs> I will say I, I, It does make sense now Because I walked up Right after my set And I was like Yeah can I get two Trulies And she's like what she was like Yeah two of them She was like I think they closed it Immediately after that They were like I don't know This tap's getting run up Yeah No I got my two. I got two dreams You guys both had six No we didn't really have six See yeah. he did kill it He did kill it I didn't see Nico did kill But then Josh They go He leveled And I was like He didn't level Relax <laughs> I mean compared to Josh that, but he killed it though, man. I'm being a fucking grumble. Did, did everybody just kill in comparison to Josh, or is it just everybody really do? No, no, I killed. Oh, Nico okay. killed. Kevin, Kevin. Oh, some fifteen year old or some shit. Have you? Have you gone up any different places? Have you? Have you? Are you, are you, are you working any new material? Are you? What? Uh, what, what? What have you gone up since? How? How the set's been oh, since? Right now, your mother's sucking my dick. <laughs> <laughs> this guy sounds like he's wearing a wife beater for sure. Bro. I love you guys. Thank you. For <laughs> I love you, Josh. I love you, Josh. I love you, buddy. <laughs> Thank you for making me relive shitty history. <laughs> uh, that's the uh, great Josh, Josh Palin, right? Asshole, Yo, can bro. you make sure your mic's on, buddy? My mic is on. Bro. Okay, he, I gotta make sure. It? Why are you? Let me ask you a question. All this, was, all this shit is loosening. No, stop Just touching stop it. Stop touching it. Bro, stop touching it. What do you mean? Stop I'm not touch, touching I'm it. I'm tightening it. No. <laughs> <laughs> None of these turn except until DC. Bro, you're ruining the equipment. No, you're ruining the equipment by like fidgeting. You already ruined one mic that I'm using. Allegedly. <laughs> you know, like, that mic is only in my hand. That mic's only been in my hand two times, so that's, that's, we'll that's, see. That's how infuriating it is. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Stop breaking bro, Look at this point. This is how I have to hold the fucking mic at this point because. Fucking hand can't go nowhere not holding the mic. You know you're not supposed to hold that part. I know. I'm holding the mic like this. I don't hold the fucking mic. Speaking of mic control, you guys, why don't I have to teach you everything? You gotta. I'm waiting for you to teach me something, bro. I need you. You gotta get better on the mic control. <clears throat> what are we talking about? I'm holding the mic like this. I nah. love this, nah, bro. When you, no, on, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about, on, yes. I'm talking about, I'm talking about, no, no, because you're, you're talking this way. Because I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this I, at the same time. Why are you looking at the mic? Because this guy's got me talking about the mic. Like, dude, what are you, what are you <laughs> talking It's about? mental, like, uh, mental games. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, let's go into plugs real quick. Guys, you can follow me at Dylan J. Negri. Thank you for listening to this fam episode. Go follow Dope Up and Dine at Dope Up Comedy. Go follow um, all our adventures of doing stand up on the road. We're going to be at Skank Fest this fucking weekend, October 12th through the 14th, 15th. So if you're there, you're going to see me, Big Poppy Shampoo, and me. Maybe we can get him after the plugs if we can get him to buy his ticket live. The fire rises. Um, and yeah, go support the podcast. Go support the comedy show if you're in the New York, Brooklyn, Philly, New Jersey area. Come to Brooklyn. We do shows now: Thursday free show, Friday and Saturday, and uh, Sunday possibly coming up. So stay tuned for that. Uh, Who knows? Maybe even Monday. <laughs> Tuesday, <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> Josh, no, 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 that, that's called a Josh Pallet right now. Josh, you this nigga's a verb now. <laughs> yeah, that shit this nigga bomb so hard, he's a verb, son. That's crazy. <laughs> Kevin Sanchez. Yo, it's uh, Wild Kevin Sanchez on Instagram. Wild Kev Sanchez on Twitter. No I N. And, uh, yeah, you know, you already know what it is. It's Poppy Shampoo, the young Don Bandito, aka the man that made the let me miss that. Right, DC, go ahead, give me plus. All right, DC. Um. The yeah, unforgivable man, prophet. The, um, the, the unforgivable prophet. I don't know what he just said. Or, or false prophet. Or false prophet shit. is my favorite. I don't know what the fuck you guys are talking about. All I know is you can follow me on Instagram at DC Williams Comedy. Um, and that's Wait, really why do you have all Instagram you handle? need to know. Why do you have a new Instagram handle? Um, because I got cucked. And when you, you get cucked, cucked, shit like we that d- happens. So, yeah. 
Welcome <laughs> oh, <laughs> to Comedy Club Thursdays and Saturdays. Stay tuned for more. Um, I'll be at St. Mark's on Sunday at 8 p.m. Come through and um, yeah, I'll let you know more stuff. When Hopefully, stuff you won't happening. be at St. Mark's Sunday. Hopefully, you'll be at Skank Fest. Maybe I'm lying. I'll be at Skank Fest. Maybe. What? 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 What, what do we need to do right now to get you to buy your ticket? People need. What, what, what can we do right now to get you to buy your ticket? Would you buy your ticket uh, right now? Nothing. You stop putting me on the spot, making it awkward. No, dude. Just buy a ticket right now. Do it. Do it. This is where. This is how we have to practice just being on stage together, like this. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, this is really. I mean, like, this is what, technically this is practice. Yeah. This you, is what are you talking did, about? Did you guys see? Yo, that? Yo, we have to do this again. <laughs> did you guys see that Kennedy? That Kennedy shit? What do you mean? Oh, I'll show you right now. Oh boy. Can you describe it a little bit? Oh yeah. hell yeah, bro! It's a fucking political campaign ad. Oh, and this, shit this shit is unbelievably crazy. fire, theory, bro. Right? Yeah, bro. This shit is fire. How do we try to show the is camera? Old, this is this man's shoot. old school as shit, bro. Yeah, this is why you can't make sketch comedy Shh. anymore, bro. <laughs> if, you, if you hate cops just because they're cops, the next time you're in trouble, call a crackhead. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> like this dude can be. <laughs> Yo, by the way, that's gonna be a drop on Dope Dope. That's so funny. I need mean, we. I that know, is we a should, fire drop. That no, is a fire. That's one drop. of them. There's a few Call more a though. Crackhead. There's, a, there's crackhead. some from Rick and Morty that you can pull, bro. Nah, nah, fuck Rick and Morty. Nah, that's fine. Call a crackhead. Mo- How is that? There's like 800 episodes, bro. That's true. Oh, it's, like, it's like 34, 48 episodes. But you know do what you I mean? want to be the Say podcast so. that like does Rick and Morty drop? Does Rick and Morty drop? Is that way you want to have your legacy? DC? You, no, you could just one of the drops. You could have other drops like. <laughs> <laughs> you can have bad different types of well, drops, bro. Yeah, I lo- yo, DC really thinks this shit like Punk <laughs> Flex. He's like, boo doo doo That's what it is, bro. I am DC Williams. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yo, that shit crazy. Flex you know what I mean? Yo, that's why. That's why. DC wrote it. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? Like, like something? Metro people. <laughs> Stop. DC stole it. No, what was it called? <laughs> Jetson made another one. <laughs> we got to make our own version of that shit, oh, bro. A bunch of DJ um, drops. Shit types like that, but for comedy, yeah. bro. Yeah. Would it be doped up? <laughs> he is bombing. <laughs> he is bombing. <laughs> that shit got no legs. <laughs> 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 You're being loud in the mic. <laughs> Yo, let him live, dog. Let him live, dog. Dude. I'm out here, bro. I be living, man. Yeah, you're probably not in frame at all right now. <laughs> <laughs> you're not in frame at all, bro. <laughs> I haven't acted in a minute, son. <laughs> When's the last time you've acted? You had a role. Um, you saw I left. Um, no, I left my agency kind of during the pandemic. Yeah, I stopped responding what to a Dave's audition. Yeah, what are you <laughs> maybe. Doing, <bro>? <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Maybe. You're looking for mad black people. You could have been in Tyler Perry films you, right now. Wait, you left maybe. your agency. You, you probably could have been on Fresh Prince. One? Why would you leave without having another one? Nah, I just left because I was just like, I just gotta find. I just gotta do my own thing. I gotta find someone that's gonna work with me as a comic and as an but actor. But they weren't. You know they weren't. They were the same guy you were talking to. I I, I, I agree. Actually, that's yeah, true. I get IFM shit. Not even IFM. I'm talking about Dave. I'm talking about Dave no, McEwen. I know, no, Dave McEwen doesn't do shit for me. I mean, I don't. I'm not. I'm, I don't. Name. Name. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not with him either. Um, but you gotta I send me that. For, I hope you guys send him that formal email because you guys are gonna get something. Nah, they, Yo, I'm your agent. Nah, cause I hit nah, them up. And actually, I was like, "What's up?" And I'm a free agent. On they told world. me, they told me that, "Hey, you stopped responding, so we took you off the roster." And I was like, "Okay, cool. That's her. Um, that's fine." And um, yeah, I just was just like, "That's crazy." I didn't. I'm gonna just that. find another. I'm just, I just find another. They just agent. stopped sending me shit. Right, and I hit them up, and I was just like, "Hey, what's going on?" When when we ended up going to fucking Atlanta with that person, that Booker. That fucking that stiffed me. Atlantic I, City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hit yeah. Him around then. No, I started like talking to her a little bit after, but like it was about comedy. Like she wasn't getting me any auditions or anything like that. But yeah, I just and they said, um, I was like, hey, are you guys still like, you know, like working with me, or whatever? Because I know I haven't been responding X Y Z. They're like, we took you off the roster because everybody's fine. I was like, okay, cool, that's fine because I didn't really intend on. Yo, bro, you told you me know. this three times in the last ten minutes. Oh, I was, but I was just yeah. saying that. But he was asking me a question. Like what happened? Like he didn't he didn't know that, so I was just like, yeah, that's what happened. I, I, I get it. I get it. Yeah, I understand yeah, yeah. that. I didn't know it happened then. I thought it happened like a way, um, like a year ago. But it's actually sooner than. Now, I, I wish I was auditioning for some shit right now. I mean, kind of a little bit. Mm. You know what I mean? I got a spinal a commercial the other day. A spinal? Spine commercial. Spinal. Okay. I did not. Can audition. you? <laughs> I did not audition for it. You didn't audition for it. Nice, nice. Wait, you just it's got nice to know some casting people too. You know, sometimes you know a lot of times that works. 
So no, I did not do it. I was like, I'm good. Oh, you didn't do it? Why not? Were they? They weren't paying you like fifteen hundred. <laughs> no, I mean actually, it was probably good money. That's a what's a funny thing about commercials, dude. I did a, a Pepsi commercial, but like it wasn't a lot. And I don't think a Pepsi ad ever even came out. It did. I mean, come out. The first years. part came out during the pandemic. No, no, that's um, <clears throat> CBS. I'm talking about the one I did recently. Oh. It was supposed to be like a TikTok video. I don't think they ever released it. Mm. So they just paid a bunch of kids in a park to take selfies. And be, mm-hmm. I want that. And kind of just promote Pepsi. Dude, I was such a douchebag during that fucking thing. The, the uh, Pepsi commercial <laughs> for TikTok? Bro, bro, I'm telling you, they were like, where? They, I mean, there's never a time to be a douchebag, right? Bro, there was all <laughs> these doing a commercial for Pepsi Dude, there were for all TikTok. These, there were all these kids, like, trying so hard and, like, fresh face, all fresh shaven. Oh, I know what you mean. The yeah. glossy and, ass kids. <clears throat> glossy eyes. Like, like, this is my first uh, anything. I'm, like, really excited. Like, what are you, like, like introducing themselves. I'm, like, hitting my dad pen. Like, you guys want something? Like, oh, is that we? Oh, absolutely. Not before I go on. <laughs> just like, a dickhead comment. And I'm just like, I'm just like, all right, I'm hitting the, the one, the, my Hamilton devices one that one I lost in Mexico, the little like, Sherlock. And dude, I'm just like, fuck, like, didn't shave, barely woke up. They said wear blue or like red or white, like wear like Pepsi colors. I, I wore just, green. <laughs> <laughs> I just wore white and black, like, yeah. whatever. And we're sitting in the park and I'm wearing my sunglasses. And then at one point, I'm just chilling. And then I'm like, I wonder if they're going to tell me to take off the sunglasses. They said no accessories. And I was wearing, oh, I was wearing my fanny pack too. Mm-hmm. And they were like, okay, it has logos. He took that off. And I was like, all right. And I'm making jokes the entire time. The guy comes up. I'm like, this is the most polite robbing ever. And everyone laughs. The director laughs. And I'm just like, just being an asshole. And then he goes, the the girl sitting down goes, do, do, do you want me to like go get my, I can like, go get my sunglasses. And they're like, you know, actually we were just thinking about if he should keep his or not. And I go, no, nah, I could do some really funny things with them. You're going to want me to keep them on. And they go, there we go. It solves that. And dude, the entire time, what I'm trying to say though is, grand story, there was another <laughs> white dude. Grand. There was another white dude trying so hard, bro. And every time he was like, do you, you guys want me to do it like this? They were like, oh no, you guys should go in the back. And bro, you would watch this like, like really like buff young white kid get so aggravated. His, they were like, he was like, you guys, you guys want me to be one of the guys to hold a Pepsi bottle? He's like, I'm fucking TikTok-y, bro. And then they were I'm like, so ready to and then they were like, no, we're going to give it to her and him and me. And he goes, I would just see him do like that. Goes, all right, bro. All right. All right and bro. then like, oh, that's cool, bro. And then like, the, a take would go <laughs> and he'd be like, yeah, that was great. And he's like, this one I could do something really good. He's like, all right, all right, man, thank you. And it was just like, dude, shut up. It was like, like you know, I'm trying to say it was one like Let I, the kid live. He's trying to be on euphoria, bro. Nah, bro, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking, of, yo, bro, I got, I, we got. That's, you just reminded me of something too. But um, <laughs> you got to audition for euphoria. Oh, dude, I'm telling you, I'd be on it. I'm saying it right now. I'm auditioning for euphoria, and I'm gonna do it. I'm going to be, be on soon, it. Man. Nah, bro, that's gonna be like six seasons. And they're Eight on. Seasons. What are they on right now? Thirty four. Thirty four. It's on. It's Zendaya. Yeah. DC. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, maybe How dare you? Maybe you're onto something. Probably gotta get a haircut, but no. All right. I don't think you understand, bro. I went to my barber, and I was like, <laughs> "For what? <laughs> Just bro, to make him upset, bro? <laughs> Look at all this hair you're not bro, cutting, <laughs> yo. That's what it was. <laughs> what? I swear on my life. I sat down, and he goes, "What do you want to do?" I was like, "Honestly, bro, I'm kind of just doing the homeless look." But I the other day, I annoyed my oh ears, my and I, uh, I, 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 I got annoyed with my ears. Just Dylan, hold on. What did you just say? I went to the barber and I was like, yeah, I'm trying to do this homeless look. Yeah, yeah. And by the way. I've been doing, he said, I've been, I've been doing, doing this homeless, homeless look. By the way, you know what he said? This Lower East Side. I had a video. Aesthetic. You know what he said? You know what he said? And what's working for you? He goes, like, fire. I hate this generation sometimes. Bro, you know? and know what he said? He goes, I haven't I been cut like my hair either. I let man. my dreadlocks all the way out. I go, bro, it's the best way to live. And you know what, and you know what a guy is, you know what a producer and an agent in the business is going to tell him? Get a haircut, bro. <laughs> Not before, yeah. Shave, shave, no, nope. sh- bro. You don't, nah, you don't I, understand, bro. I don't know. He, he's trying to be a comedian, bro. I mean, he's not trying to fucking. No, no I'm trying to be on you for it. No, bro. It's the same shit. <laughs> it's the same shit. Don't be fooled. Are you a fool? Don't be fooled. Are you calling me a fool right now? <laughs> <laughs> you just like hey, you just like beating hey, DC. <laughs> hey, bro. That's hey. my trigger word, bro. That's Call my trigger fool word again. <laughs> Fool's gold. No, no. I fuck. I don't listen, bro. I don't get that reference. <laughs> Yo, what did you do? What did you do though? Did he like cut some? Of the, I can't believe we're talking about this, but he, he just cut some of the trim. Oh, bro, about, bro, I, I, I took my own scissors. Yeah, but the other I get day. actual haircuts. The, the, the other day, sure. I took my scissors and I started cutting around my ears. And my barber was so mad. He was like, "I was like, yeah, I cut my own hair." He was like, "What?" 
Why? You lit, bro, I will come to your house. And this dude owns two spots, by the way. One right next to, like, Barclays. So it's like, bid rent. This dude makes money. He's like, I'll, why? Don't stop doing that. And then, dude, after, like, ten minutes of him, like, looking at my hair, cutting, like, little things, he finally just went, infuriates me to say, but you did pretty good for your ears. Bro. And I was like, <sighs> you look like fucking, like, tra- like not Travis Barker, but you look so, like, 2005 pop And you look so 2000 and like, late. I got that boom, boom, pow. You look like Avril Lavigne's boyfriend, bro. Hell <laughs> That's yeah. literally what you look like, bro. <laughs> I, and bro, honestly, hey, good for you. I'm okay with all You should of that. say that on stage. I know I look like Avril Lavigne's boyfriend. Nah, that's, gonna, <laughs> that's, that's gonna Josh Pallet. No, that's a David. It's a dated reference, but like they're gonna be like, it's like, well, isn't that cool? A, you know, know what that? kills on stage? Dated references. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It depends <laughs> how you bring them up. I bring them up. I'm like, I'm about to start talking about some dated shit. But bro. I do want to say, like, watch. I do want to say Tell this about you. comedy because you were saying this earlier about like revisiting bits. You gotta, you gotta, yeah. Kevin has been on me about this one bit. Um, this like one part of my jokes that I, I do love, but every time I do it, Kevin's like, "Yo, there's more. I want to help you write this bill. There's more," and just that enthusiasm has forced me to keep always like in my head of like, "It does need to get funnier. It does need to get funnier." Mm-hmm. And then when we were at the show, I was like, "Uh, it, it is the it is funny." And it, it, it I, more, I, re- I wrote more, more to it, yeah. and I went to Kevin, and we went back and forth, and we added more to it, and it was one of those things of like. <clears throat> That's why, like, if you're a comic watching this, or anyone, if you're any any industry, you need to have your own circle that you can also grow with. Because, as if they're as committed as you, and you guys all grow, it's very hard sometimes. Where like DC is texting me at, like midnight one time was like, dude, I'm just watching old sets of you. You should revisit these three jokes, and this is what I think you should add to it. It was no like, yeah, Josh does that for me a lot. Like he'll 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 hit me up about some shit. He's like, yo, do you still do? Maybe this I'll joke? take his advice right now. But no, no, no. Josh is too <laughs> I'm mad joking, funny, I'm bro. joking. Uh, he's not yeah. here to defend himself. I yeah, he's not here to defend I love him. I love him. Josh has tagged a joke before. I feel like I got off now. Damn, I should have said that. Uh, yeah, and you won't use it. That's so dumb that you don't use it. No, I do. I do. I do. What, I do, what is yeah, it? I told him. I told him. I don't, don't want to say. I don't. Say <laughs> <it>. <laughs> he doesn't want to admit. <laughs> no, I don't want to know. I don't want to say. He's like his hardest hitter. I don't want to say the joke. Yeah, I'll tell you. I'll tell you after. What do you? What do you guys? What's your? Okay, have this. What if a comic? What are you afraid of? By the way, for saying it on a pod. I just don't. Did it kill so hard that clip? Goes no, it's, viral? But it, it's like something that's getting worked out, and I added some shit to it. Like yeah. I really like sat down and don't, thought don't about don't it. Don't tell me what you add. Tell me the part that Josh. Tell me the joke, the premise, and then tell me the part that Josh. I'll tell added. you off. I'll tell you off. Wow, yeah. yo, hey, man, yeah, respect yeah. it. I'll tell you I, I would do the same. Ugh. I don't write with no comics. <laughs> no, I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but um, nah, but uh, yeah, bro, it was not. It felt good too. I was like, ooh, I, I was having bursts. Yeah. I haven't had a burst in a while. Dude, that feels good. And that's how I like, I write, because I don't write every fucking day. I'll write some shit, a lot of shit, and then stop for a couple weeks, couple months, and just fucking perform Bro, it, perform the way it. I've been writing recently, I love it. Every It's every day. It's Yo, every day I, something um, comes to my, like, hits my notepad. So uh, I'm pretty sure I'm in love. Right now, I just want to stop talking about comedy. Doing so I'm just, not for I'm dead ass. I'm pretty sure I'm in love right now. Yeah, I'm pretty can sure. Can I tell you something, bro? Can, can, can I, I keep can it above with you? Can I just open, open this? Hold on. I want to say something. Okay. I'm in love, and the only reason why I know I'm in love, bro, and this is going to sound mad corny and hacky, bro, If I feel insane. Yeah. I feel cr- like a crazy person, bro. Wow. Because this shit don't make, it's like, that shit don't make no sense. Yeah. I, I should so. not be in love, but I am. <laughs> yeah. Right? And I'm like, damn. Like, in my head, I'm like, yo. How this, do you know? How, if this bitch break up with me, I'm psyched. I'm drop kicking her. I, every so time this, I see is, her. this is new. You guys already say love. I love you. He's yo, saying it. You saying it, bro. <laughs> I know you saying it, bro. Oh, you say, you say, y'all say I love you? You say I love you? Oh, my God. Yo, y'all been dating for like a month. Yo, bro. It, but where did y'all, where did you guys meet? Bro, I stopped talking to bitches. Where did oh, you, yeah, where'd where'd you guys meet? Hinge. You know what's so crazy? Usually, Kev is like looser around like women, even the, like, you know what I mean? A little bit more. Every time I like went up to them, I'm just like, I just felt like I was interrupting something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like every time I said that to him, too, I was just like, "Oh, I, I just like I'm gonna leave these niggas alone, bro." Oh, well, him and his <laughs> like, girl. Yeah, then? He just seemed, oh, you're like, talking he about? Wait, just had this it, you had a preface shit. You, see? you, had, you, had you a, know what I mean? I'm a, just like when 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 uh you because uh we met you met we met your girl for the first time at Dope Dope Comedy Club on Saturday. By the way, you should talk about that. Shout out, um, Andre, um. Andre Oh um, how do we forget Who gave them and the mic Fire show fire. They packed that bitch out 
standing Durrell. room only. Andre and Durrell killed did that very show, well. Bro. Packed we out show, after, sold like, out. Like, you guys know each other and all that shit, bro. They that chem- chemistry up there is fire. They did their thing. Very funny. Crowd very turned funny out. They showed the fuck out. So shout out to them boys, man. Next time you guys see really that show on the schedule, I'm telling you, you're gonna want to go to that, that show. That show was Leo Confressi. Yeah, oh did his thing. Yeah, I saw. I don't thing. really sit down to see comedians, bro. There's. I went in there to I'll see Leo. Down, bro, I'll sit down to see Leo. I went bro, back oh. specifically to see Leo because I just wanted I, to see. I, I, I always, I always, I, I didn't watch Leo's whole set, but I watched him go up and then I, I come in towards the end. I'll, I'll see where his new shit is. Like Leo is, it's fun watching. You know your friends and comics. You're like, nah, but I want to sit down. Also, that was a young comic, bro. Killing that that oh. that dude, other Leo up top. They said they saw him at an open mic. And he went up there and started making fun of the hosts of like uh, uh, um, Andre and Darrell. Kill him. I don't know if you saw that. No, I saw him make fun of the, <laughs> one of them. Oh, yeah. Was... Oh, no, but I, I, that's what I was also about to say. Speaking of killing, Kevin, people coming up to the shot, coming up to Kevin, going, bro, you did, oh, wow, you did so amazing. Yeah, I was like, back Kevin. to back, back to back killings for Kevin. Yeah, you know what's so funny, bro? <laughs> when you, you, you see a room and like who gave him a mic was one of those rooms you're like, Oh, Kevin's gonna eat here. <laughs> did, <laughs> DC told me that before I got on You're school. like, yo. Did, did you know I told him that? No, bro. I, I like, said th- I said that too. I was like, I was like, I'm like, yo, like, there's, Kevin, there's too many light said, skins in here for bro, you not to kill. I looked in. I can't. I was like, I was like, bro, you're gonna. But this is your crowd, bro. Yeah, and he was like, he was your like, special's gonna be that like, audience. I was like, bro, this is that your be, crowd, bro. That will be fire, bro. And I on. I didn't. I didn't even. You, I just started after that set. I've been telling you guys for weeks. I'm not feeling very funny. Yeah, yeah. Right. I feel you. I've been, kind of, kind of I've I'm been feeling right that for like a few weeks, and it's, and it's hard. It's making me depressed and all that shit. After Connecticut, and then after, um, who gave them a mic? I like, who the, the fuck sh- am I talking? Dope Dope do- do- Comedy Club. Yeah. I'm like, I the fact that I can do this and get big laughs and uh fucking applause breaks mm-hmm. and not be feeling funny made me yeah. go. It snapped me out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Got to get out, man. Yeah. Like, for real. Like, it's that you... It's one thing to perform perform in New York, bro. You go out, see fresh... Fit. You know people have never seen you before. You know what I mean? That's also and another thing I was, like, like, I was explaining to... Um, they're not like... Listen, I, comedy I, over there. I, I, love, I love comedy. That's why we, we, we talk about it on the show is just because, like, I genuinely have a fascination for oh, the stand-up arts. You want, Hold on, please. But you want to sell so first? You want to sell so yeah, sure, I will take yeah, a we'll take a shelter. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Be back with Celsius for the boys. For the boys. Boys, 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 boys. boys. Oh, Shout oh, out. That's not, that's not, our, that's not our shit, though. That's uh, Well, so what? We love them, though. Yeah, we can say boys, boys, boys. Boys, boys, boys. Shout out fucking Ryan Long. Shout, shout, shout out Ryan Long. Long yeah. Shout out the boys. Yes. That's how you shout do it. Shout out Danny Polishek and Ryan Long. Shout yeah. out the fucking team. Boys, boys, boys. Boys, boys, boys. Shout out Colin. Wasn't it late night? Shout out Colin. Shout out Colin Terrell on late night, bro. Never on Doped Up, but on Late Night. <laughs> well, damn, we should have got him before then. <laughs> he wouldn't sure, answer the come through and berate. And, 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 and <laughs> so what? Uh, I, was, I, was, I was shitting on him the other day in his face. But <laughs> I was just there when you guys were smoking. So yeah, he kept calling you Arab. Face. That shit was funny. No, wait, what, I, really? I, what happened? Yeah. He was like, motherfucker, I'm about to burn you with this cigarette. Yo, yo, this, this, <laughs> this, this cheers, fellas. Cheers. Nah, this nigga Colin Terrell starts talking shit about American breakfast. You don't talk anything about America <laughs> in front of me, dog. You ain't from here, pussy. You from Ireland. Man, pussy, hard. pussy. <laughs> on the Tonight Show in Oh, uh, they don't give you bacon and sausage. Shut the fuck up, Terrell. We he's gave gonna, you the Tonight he's Show. Get his phone be like, oh, no. just, <laughs> what late night show you doing in Ireland, nigga? <laughs> it wasn't Ireland. Late but. night Ireland? <laughs> he, I bet you he did every late night show in Ireland. Probably. And he got him 12 fans. He got him 12 fans, dog. Yeah. I was like, oh, why am I doing Nah, this? by the way, I love Colin Terrell. I think yeah, it's hilarious. He's, <laughs> he's going to get all his shit yeah. and be like, fucking, I, will also I was very surprised he did. It was the cleanest that I've ever seen Colin do. Yeah, yeah. That's not show said was the he kept calling you a fucking Arab. Yeah, he kept calling me Arab. <laughs> and I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn you with a cigarette. Again. <laughs> I'm gonna remind you That's of what so your father funny. used to do to you. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, you know, uh, um, a story about Connecticut. So, my G, we chilling after the show, hanging out, and there's this couple. It's a black guy and a white girl. Mm-hmm. Bro, I remember. I'm joking with them, having a blast. They add me on Instagram. Bing bong. Nah, come on. Why'd you make me do that? Bing bong. Anyway. <laughs> my DM. My, your DM went. <laughs> Bing bong. <laughs> so, I, I forgot I added them the next morning. I look, and I, I ain't gonna lie, I like to feel her pictures. And I was like, ah, oh, shit. I should've never done that. One, I got a girl who I'm seeing. And two, um, that was this man's lady, right? Now, but I do remember them he telling me. feeler likes. Hold on. I did. I did. And then, and then, you know what I did? Out, I you want to laugh? You want to laugh? You know what I did? I went to his page, like the few of his pictures. Yo, you threw, just to offset oh, you that told shit. told me about this. I did? Yeah, Yo, that, by the way, that just looks like you want to fuck them both. Yeah, this shit bro. This gets weird. It, 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 it oh, got wait, wait, weird, wait, wait, wait. bro. Keep going. Keep going. 
So now, now I remember telling um, them right before I left, I was like, you know what's crazy? My boy told me to fuck with teachers. If you ever get a teacher, fuck with them because they're the biggest sluts in the world. Like they'll do anything. They're like, he's telling this to this girl's face. To this girl's face. And she's Dude. like looking at me like, yo, this guy's like a prophet or something. Because I go to her page, she's a teacher. Is he Muslim? She's a teacher. <laughs> she's a teacher, dog. Yeah, she and, is. And then all her, all her pictures are her cheeked out. Cheeked out. Her, her page private, dog. Yeah, yeah. You well, know what I mean? Me, well, not for us. But not Probably. for, yeah. And then so her, her man DMs me. I'm like, damn. He about to be like, why you liking my bitch's pics? Mm-hmm. He goes, hey, nigga, stop liking my pics. I feel like you want a date or something. And I laugh. I chuckled. Yeah, yeah. said that to you. He said that to yeah, me. Yeah, I laugh and I chuckled. I said, nah, bro, I have to offset the situation because I started liking your bitch's pics. Right? Which, well, you said your girl. Yo, this is for this okay. is this just... for the podcast, dog. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yo, right. yo, wait, 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 wait. Suspend belief. Wait, wait, yeah, wait, wait. When we're telling what? stories on the podcast, yeah. don't do that. You like Stop to suspend that. belief. Yeah, yeah. I get Stop it. Stop doing that. That's your main thing. That's gonna be your biggest thing in every film you make, dude. He spends belief. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he holds, bro. He withholds the truth. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're a good actor when you get told to do things, but no wonder you don't get told to write things. <laughs> God damn, bro. So, you stink at it. So, bro, he's uh, you know he goes ha 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 ha. He goes, that's <laughs> yeah, what it sound like that. Yeah, why'd you shake his shoulders? Ha, 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 I just pictured it because I was like, cause I just really, you know, sometimes there was like, six ha, 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 ha. I wrote that and I was like, that might have been a little rough. I hope he understands. Uh huh. So, Dan, whatever. He goes, um, <laughs> he goes, yo, I know, I know you want Emily to suck your dick. I'm like, what? That's so, that's so crazy. I remember you, yeah. And I was like, what you mean? How did you know? Uh, you, look, you, you should reply to you go, bro, true, but how'd you know? <laughs> Yo, bro, now this is why I fucked up, bro. So I'm like, you liked I mean, it? I would, I, this is what I said to him. I go, I would definitely smash your chick if I was single and she was single. And then when he then he responded and he responded a little weird yeah that's a weird thing right? to say for you too yeah I know and then I told him I was like this is a weird conversation I have a man about and this, this is a weird conversation to be having a man about this is, yo, <laughs> to be yo having, you fucked the dude's wife before yeah, like yeah. you're just doing it all over but wait, again wait wait hold up hold up this is where it gets really bad I looked at his girl's name recently it's not Emily it's I want to talk about it's, it's, he was I talking about s- another girl that was at the table I thought he was talking about his girl. And he just went along with it. <gasps> How did you figure that out? I just told you, bro. When he said Emily wants to suck your dick, for some oh, reason I thought that was the his other girl. comic oh. that was there. Oh, oh thank you. plot thickens. So, so, so that I got. Was the I, witch, I saw that the was the witchy girl. The witch. Yeah. That's and, and, yo, he wild. said. By the way, this guy was such a fan. And by the way, we'll you never thought he was volunteering now. his girl. Dude, That's crazy. By the way, I, I subscribed him to the podcast. I mean, and I did that. Wow. You told me to do it and I did it. Hell oh, no, yeah. I'm saying on Let's Spotify. Send this episode to him. Oh, He's going to get a, and a notification. No, nah, no. Nah, honestly, he was a good sport, though, if I'm being real with you. Yeah, let's send this episode to him. Yeah, yeah. Let's send yeah, this bro, clip. Wait, honestly, wait. bro, I thought you was trying to have me cuck your girl, bro. I'm not trying to do that no more because I got my shorty. Uh, my, but, and also, I just realized it was just miscommunication, homie. I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. Dude. I now know who actually By the way, this, dude, this dude and his girl were having so much fun hang, hung out of the show, just mm-hmm. being fans. And then this dude also probably happens. He hit me up. He was like, "Yo, do you have any shows tonight? I want to come see, see you, yes, Kev." Yes. And then yo, and then he messaged Kev, and then I had no idea that he's having a. a con- he goes, "Yeah, but I messaged your boy Kev, LOL." And I'm assuming he said LOL because he was like, "I don't know if y'all talked," because he was just going like, "Yeah, bro, do you want to smash that Emily chick? Y'all see me your chemistry?" And Kev responded with, "Yeah, bro, would absolutely fuck your girlfriend if you yeah. weren't in the picture." And then he went, "What?" <laughs> yeah, he definitely went, "What?" <laughs> This nigga's an animal, bro. I'm an animal, dog. <laughs> I don't know what what's wrong, wrong, with wrong with you, bro. What is wrong? I don't know what's wrong you with you. You said what is wrong with me? I said what is wrong with you. I know, <laughs> same I know. Time. That's so wild. Yo, bro. Why do you always... On, you always wa- happening with the, 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 the my brain chemistry, bro. Because I'm getting wilder and wilder. <laughs> like, like, and I can't control it, bro. I am... I am saying shit to people I really shouldn't be saying things. <laughs> Bro, like if this is the like, west, if this is the wild me. west, bro, I will be taken out, bro. <laughs> I, I'm I'm too loose. Every day gets harder and harder to keep my job, <laughs> bro. Nah, I'm working hard as fuck now, bro. I'm like, nah, I need to keep this job, right? Until like, I make it in comedy. Yeah. Oh, they fired me for some other shit. Not 
job related. Now I'm just like saying some wild, wild shit, shit due to my fucking brain chemistry right no, now. Bro, I, honestly, bro, I really feel like there's something fucked up in my head right now. You're in love. P- nah, it's I that shit, it's just got that. you lashing out. PTSD. Nah, it's nah, got it's you lashing PTSD. out. Uh, I don't know what it is, bro, but I don't know, bro. I feel weird, bro. Yo, nigga, what's up with Yo, you, bro? Yo, by the way, by the way, <laughs> really freaking doing. me out with your eyes, nigga. Yo, and he's in you got love. a hat on right now. He's in love. Like I do. I am in love, though. You look. You, you are in love, You are son. just like Dominican you. Well, I look yeah. really cute, nigga. <laughs> you all blacked out in like, like, but like not black. You know what, what I mean? It's like John? ash gray. I like it, though. I like this shit. John from the show? Who's that? Uh, Joe. Oh, you look like Joe from you. Joe from, uh, oh, you, yeah. Nah, I look, I look way cuter, bro. Chill, bro. Imagine if this nigga is... <laughs> Imagine if he was Joe, Joe bro. bro. Honestly, y'all... Bro, by the way, <laughs> he would never get away with it because he would kill him, try to hide him, and then he would just... His shoulders would hit everything on the way out. This nigga just follow bitches and bring them cake. <laughs> What's this for? Because you got the cake. <laughs> that was awful. That was a bad I, I, that line. Was bad, that was a bad line. Was I like bad. how you uh, almost uh, ignored it, though. That, I appreciate hey, that. Hey, it was a solid pallet. It was a yeah, solid. Bro, that's just that's bad, too, though. Like yo. yo, you just had yourself a pallet. That's a, yeah. That's, that's a bad yo, yo, too, yo, yo, Bo. I need a palate cleanser. <laughs> After that palate, I need a palate cleanser. You guys are still in the car from <laughs> After that palate. Okay, yeah. I see. I see what you're doing. Dude, if, these uh, jokes are weird. These jokes are weird. Because Super weird, dude. Nah. Super weird, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, by the way, yo, he's on. My, yo, he goes. I learned how to go up there and just be a dork <laughs> for 20 minutes. <laughs> well, to try hey, whatever you're doing, it ain't working. No, I'm just trying. <laughs> I will what say world we live in, we're fucking. That's crazy. Yo, my, my, what you about to say with Dylan kills and Josh bombs? <laughs> It's <laughs> all the same show, bro. <laughs> That's what happens when you leave Broadway like, comedy. Hell music. <laughs> <laughs> you just. <laughs> that would be hilarious. That would be hilarious if you could play like 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 drowning in bombs music at a comedy show. <laughs> what is this? Is this Batman? Is <laughs> anything? Anything? <laughs> Why don't we just do the Batman? Tish, tish, pasha, pasha. Pasha, oh yeah, that's what Pasha, Pasha, Pasha. Will he climb out this hole? Pasha, Pasha, Tish, Tish, Pasha. No! Has anyone saw that Aisha's Muslim? That's crazy. Yeah, that's what he. So he just didn't land the plane, huh? He just. He did it. That should hit a tower. You're stupid. That was perfect. Don't bump mics. I hate that. Guys, we don't. Too much Muslim humor recently. <laughs> we have amazing Muslim Dude. listeners. <laughs> Guys, we've been doing. Yo, that's what I'm talking about. I don't know bro. why. What's wrong with me right now, dog? I why would you say that? You're funnier than ever. <laughs> yeah, I will say that. You're fucking Artie Leg, bro. No, bro. <laughs> no, bro. That's. I don't know, bro. Maybe you're just getting funnier. But, but I'm not gonna front. I, I've been feeling a little bit like that. So bro? I'm like, bro, I need to write something that I that that I'm impressed with, like a little bit. Like bro? add something. Something's up. I will say this. I went home and I was, I was in the car with my mom and my girlfriend and my mom was like, yeah, and you know, I, I was, she saw my health issues. She was like, you know, I don't know if you noticed, I had to get my, you know, implants out. She was, I had to get like my implants out you because it this, was, because it, it, it was like, they were like, like started to leak into my body and like, you know, give me like, you know, possible damage. And I go, well, that makes sense. Your tits are like from the eighties. And I just said that my mom goes, Dylan, why are you so blunt? Like something like that, I was like, "Yeah, mom, well, your tits are from the nineties." That shit has legs, bro. Your tits. That shit got crazy legs. Hey, my, my tits expired, bitch. Like, <laughs> just the just the the fucking dichotomy of like, this is what this is the shit I deal with. Do you know what I mean? It is also it's like, like um, my mom. My mom just my lost mom her tits and she's on ketamine her, on therapy. Her silicone. Yo, what's wild is like that's gonna be a conversation that a lot of millennials slash Gen Z kids are gonna have with their parents. In the next 10, 15 bro. No, There's so many that jokes gone, there. I can't stop thinking about it. Then no. think of one. <laughs> I'm then say of, one. There's so many jokes there, bro. Yeah. Let, him, let, him, let, him, let, him, let him come. Hold on. Hold it's going to come. It's going to come. It's going to come, bro. <laughs> it's gonna That's keep, what I always tell him. It's going to fuck you. Stop. Ew. <laughs> oh, That's why I got to tell my girl. Mother. That's why I got to tell a girl second round. It's going to come? It's going to come. Relax, relax. It's not coming, though. Not that shit That shit's taking a while. That shit takes a while. Yo, my girl, I've been like, we don't like Reason I've been so like either busy or tired, where we'll have sex and I'm like, yeah, I want to like enjoy it. I feel like I'm gonna be with my girl for a very long time. I feel like I'm gonna be my girl forever. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, bitch, I want to like, not fuck you every single day. I had a conversation <laughs> with these with these two girls about that last night. <laughs> oh, that dumb nigga right here. I'm like, yo, what if I get <laughs> sick oh, of you? Yo, 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 bro, bro, you don't bro. Feel like that no, sometimes? no, no. I get what you're saying, bro. Twice a week. 
really, for real. The most, the most motherfuckers can have sex. Tuesday and Friday. Bro. Nah, but my, girl, my girl has such a high like sex drive. Every girl has a bro, high sex but my, drive. Yo, right my, girl, now, bro. my girl yesterday, we were like, uh, for my birthday, we were all in shrooms just hanging out. And she like was like rubbing me and she was like, going to go like rub my dick. And it was just, she just went and knew that I wasn't going to respond. She went. And then just put her hand away. She started just uh, tapping my dick. Asleep. You guys didn't stoop? You guys didn't stoop on shrooms? I mean, you don't think, I mean, You should stoop her. When you see a girl, you should stoop her. The fuck does that mean? <laughs> stoop, 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 stop. Like, you don't, you don't like, do no stooping. Stop her, bro. I don't know what the fuck you're saying. Yeah, like, right. stop her. Like, you, you gotta stoop, stoop her. You gotta you stoop like your girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> finger. Jesus, I guys, stop. You're awful. <laughs> <laughs> Whose voice is that? Yeah, I don't know, bro. Some random kind of Jewish New Yorker. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You got <laughs> fucking stupid. Bro, I understand what you're saying. Cause Cause stupid, stupid. Uh, Every girl uh, that I'm with now. <laughs> Damn, nigga, that was Yeah, why are you foul, so gross, bro? Why you got sweat on your neck, Kev? It's hot, bro. It's a lot of layers. <laughs> you know, why are you so layered up? I'm layered up. I'm an oh, onion. Wait, wait. By the way, wait, I, I, think, I think girls that stay with their boyfriends for long periods of time, their testosterone raises. So they, they become more. Testosterone in them. Yeah, because yes. they're like. Because they're they're like, just I, a, I, being this. around a man makes yeah. you. Like, when I was in the army. And being around a woman drops your testosterone. Yes, it does. It, it yeah, does. Yeah, no, you're right. It's really a trade-off. Does. That is It's true. a trade-off. She so drains like, your life force, too. That's what they do. Yeah. That's why you got to, like, go to the gym and be around men. Like, you ever that's bust you, four nuts, bro? You just feel like, Are you like, saying men, being around men gets you more horny? No. Yes. But it raises your, your, no, raise your, your testosterone. This guy with the kid. He said yes. also landed on the same It raises your testosterone. It raises your testosterone. It's important to hang around men. You come from your butt. I got mad testosterone. I know. Yeah, that's why I'm a producer, bro. I fucking produce. A producer. Fucking, I produce, bro. I produce. Now I, I wonder bust nuts, if bro. you know we're having the come Olympics soon. Are you guys excited for that at all? Oh, what? God, that sounds so the awful. Don't, don't say that. What do you mean? We're, we're, getting, we're doing anyway. we're doing the fertility test, but we're doing uh, we have multiple categories. You want to do it and send it to come town? No, we're doing the. <laughs> the no, so funny. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh no, it's so funny. It's so funny. Oh no, it's so funny. Testosterone. So funny. This guy is speaking with mad estrogen in his heart. So the Come Olympics. Southern California, bro. So the Come Olympics. We're going to have multiple categories. Yeah. So fertility count. So, so, so sperm count. Um, how much sperm? Oh my God. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to fail a lot of these, bro. Color. It's not a school test. Color. Color? Who has the whitest cum? Does that matter? I'm I, I'm gonna have Sarah put a pi- uh, uh, a piece of paper to all the cum and take a picture of it. I don't think she can. I don't think she can do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, then she can, that tell, she can tell us. She can tell us. She can tell us. No, no. So we got to get some more categories for the cum Olympics. Okay, I like this idea. Also, also, I want we have to time ourselves. How long? You mean? It takes us to come to come at the facilities. Oh man! So that's that's, that's another category. Take like Ten seconds. Nah, bro. Yeah, yeah, That's what you think, bro. Are you, go you going there? Star? You go there. How quick does it take you bro, to shit, bro? You <laughs> go to your porn star and you just fucking squeeze one out, bro. You know nah, the parts. Bro. Nah, bro. Nah, my porn star just broke her back. See, Kevin's gonna look for experience. He's gonna like. Nah, bro. No, you're gonna go in there. What if it's too cold in that motherfucker? So you gotta adjust the temperature. Where you sitting? Where, Are I, you sitting or standing? Standing, probably standing. You gonna stand? Stand up. Yeah, you yeah. stand jerk? I would probably stand up and, and jerk. You if I'm out there, like I'm not gonna get comfortable outside of the public building. Toilet. Toilet? Yeah, toilet. Sit so you, toilet. you need to be in the position like you're taking a shit? Is that how you... No, nah, I need to be sitting like down. And there's a seat. I'll, I feel like jerking off in, a, in like a, a a desk chair seems weird. But I'll do a seat. I, I used to do a desk chair all the time. But I used to do toilet too because I lived with people. So like... Yeah. Or, and I didn't have my own room. You stand over the toilet and shit, but... Yeah. All right, should there be any other categories? So, Damn. Um, fertility count, amount, white... Purity of whiteness... Pure. I don't like that you said and that. And then time of jerk. And then what's the last one? Taste. Well, Sarah. <laughs> I mean, if she really wants to be a writer for the doped up and dying Sunday morning <laughs> smoke show. Sarah, last one. <laughs> Can you just dip in there out. and let us know which one's the <laughs> tastiest? I don't condone anything they're saying. Um, <laughs> is there any other uh, any, uh, any other categories you guys think for the Come Olympics? I can't think. Uh, man, too bad. You can't see the ver- like the velocity that. Hit the cup. You can the see speed, the viscosity. The speed. The speed. <laughs> the speed. I know. Yes, most, most, who, more, more explexplosive. Who's the you most wanna, explosive? Yeah, you want to know uh, a really cheap way of doing that? You take your camera, you put it to like 30 frames per second or like 60. <clears throat> you put it on the backboard with like checkerboards. And if you come, you put the camera and you come this way, you can take the frames with the checkerboard and you can see it and judge it 
Whoa. find out the speed a lot of, a lot of myth busters and you can find out the speed that way but it's not like a lot of nut busting <laughs> <to get up laughs> on busters. camera for your hey, fucking hey we'll do another episode of mu- nut busters <laughs> hey, bro. but the nut busters D- D- Dylan's teaching himself how to I shoot a sex scene by I've always himself I've been afraid that I can't have children mm-hmm. since Why? I was like 24 mm-hmm. 25 why do you feel like, like that? I know I was none of their mad chicks and I can't, like now that I'm older I realize like, a lot of these girls are lot, probably lying about being on birth control and shit like that and I've never had a pregnancy scare. I had one girl try to lie about it because we were breaking up and we were living together. Most chicks aren't lying about being But You did the a, math and you were like, I was nah. like, nah, dog. There's no way. You had your period right before you left. We haven't had sex since. So I pulled out on the inhale. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's doing my jokes now. <laughs> that was fitting. Though. Your jokes are really good at doing people. <laughs> that that very so easy to fitting. remember. I know, bro. That's why I write them. They're so good. That's why I'm just good at comics. Yo, I, I will say, but I was so upset. I was so upset. I told his mom, do not do time in between comics. He goes up there, he goes, Oh, Kev was hosting? You want to know my secret? No, no, this is on like the oh. other day. Like, this, like, like, I'm doped up like weeks ago. We go, he went up and I was like, yo, stop doing time in between comics. This is like early on in doped up comedy. It's like two months ago. And he goes, up he gets up there and I'm like playing the music. And he goes, all right, yo, y'all dating? Yeah. You want to know my secret? I'm like playing the music. I'm like, turn it down. He goes, so what I do is I pull out no my secret and he gets that whole joke yeah. and it kills and he gets off stage and I go, I was so ready to laugh at, to <laughs> yell at you and you killed you lucky motherfucker. I thought that joke made it awkward and then he walked off stage. That part but it was another week. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> hey yo, you bitch ass. <laughs> yo, why can't you suspend hey, yo, belief? Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yo, why are you so happens, solid? Bro. I can't even push you off the couch. Thanks, bro. I appreciate that, man. I didn't even know. I why was are you so fucking... solid? How many push ups can you do? All right, let's I add, do let's, a decent amount of push ups. Let's see how many push ups. All right, let's, add, let's end the episode on you oh, doing push ups. Let's go. Move your, your leg. No one wants to see there. anybody do a lot of push ups. No, we'll just end that. We'll do, we'll do the end plugs on you push ups. <laughs> Come on, dog. Uh, 4,000 straight. Yeah. I think Joe Rogan will be 4, like. 4,000. 4,000. He'll be, he be like, I got to get them on. What is if, he if doing? If you did tw- one, two, two, three, four. four so, guys, this is Dope Up and Dying. D. Sunday, Sunday morning, morning smoke, smoke show. Smoke show. Hey, keep counting. Seven, eight, nine, 12, uh, 13. Guys, 14, uh, these remember, are not real. Keep, 15, keep watching the show 16, every single week. 17, if you're watching this it, um, this week, we have Skankfest coming up, so 20, we will be at Skankfest. We're recording an episode tomorrow, a Skankfest special. And then it really gets special. Skankfest weekend. The boys will possibly be out there. Me and Kevin. Well, how many did you do? He did at least 30 to 35. <laughs> he killed us. <laughs> I lost. How do you feel? <laughs> did you, were you feel good, man. I feel like I needed that. <laughs> yeah. Yo, he feels like he better. That. Yeah, honestly, bro, we got to start working. We got to be the workout bros. Yo, bro. Oh, speaking of working out, I'm fighting that Skankfest. You want to make, so. make that like a, like a once a month if you can go to the gym and film? Not just once a month. I'm talking about we just fucking start working out upstairs in Dylan's rooftop or whatever. <laughs> I'm getting be- my, my my bell rang all the time. Hey, man, I'm here to work out I'm on your roof. <laughs> now, that won't be infuriating at all. Anybody nah. got an indoor basketball court? Do you know one? <laughs> That's nah, hilarious. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, son. The <laughs> other day, the other day, somebody because they were talking about basketball. Oh my! Don't and man. then somebody comes up to Dylan and he goes, "Where you guys play basketball?" And Dylan looked at him. He ignored the shit out of him the first time. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, and then my say man, the question, say the question. He goes, uh, "Hey, where do you play basketball?" So what have you been up to? <laughs> yeah, he starts, and, then, and then the person he's talking to goes, "Yo, he just asked you a question." Uh, and then, so Dylan goes, hey, what you said? No one, I knew Dylan heard exactly what the I question said, hey, was. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? He goes, yeah, man, what do you play indoor basketball? Oh, uh, we play like, a, like, like a, we play my, uh, you know, Big J, Oakerson. Like, oh, so you do know an indoor basketball court. Yeah. Yeah. Are you, are you weren't doing you, a joke? You ain't invited. No, no, I was being real. Oh. I just meant that to like play because it's fun. Cause you I also haven't told DC. I also wasn't talking about, yeah, but I also wasn't referring to that. I know. I thought you guys played outside. By the way, that dude sent me a DM. I've yet to read it. Yeah, you gotta, it's probably just about basketball. Yeah, I know it is. Yeah, it's just no. I, I I read it, but like you cannot read your request. You can like read it, but not read it. Well, you don't. Want to... I'm the only one who plays basketball. With Big J Okerson. <laughs> 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 it's not my place to invite someone to where someone who is. That's another thing. That's just awkward. Lives? Does he live there? Yeah. No, okay, well then say that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's how I didn't know that. I I was just talking about like a Chelsea. I kind of said it to him that night. I was like, you know, the most, it's like where he lives, and he was like, yeah, bro, let me know. And I was like. Yeah. I uh, motherfucker. You, you didn't catch not take. By the way, by the way, he was also the DJ, and because their DJ, uh, it was his friend. So they, 
dude, their DJ like canceled last minute, so they had their friend doing it. Like and bro, the, the really show like was supposed to start, and he was right next to us. We start talking, we turn back, he goes, "All right, let's start the show." He's gone talking to some girls, and he walk, and the dude walks over. He goes, "All right, bro, yo, get over here." He goes, "All right, hey, one second. And I watched like Darrell be like, or like, uh, 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 no, it was Andre. Andre. Andre goes, "Nah, bro, let's go." And I and I grab, I look at Andre, I go. You're probably gonna lose him all night. I'd probably tell him that he mm-hmm. needs to stay here. And I think I watched Andre go, yo, bro, you need to like stay here. That's what <laughs> it was just funny because I was like, yo, he's gonna be walking the entire mm-hmm. night. He's gonna be chilling. But guys, if you're watching this, thank you so much. Also, are we really ending on that fucking story? Where are you gonna end on? Go one more. Here, it's uh, it's one twenty. I'll go. Let's go one thirty. Go all for right. it. I mean, what you got, Kev? I do that anyway. What so I got? How, how you feel about um? What, what I feel about what, bro? How you feel? Just, well, just, don't, look like don't, don't look like that. Don't look like don't look like I'm about to ask Guys, you some crazy serious shit. If you watch this far of the podcast, that means you're an uh, avid subscriber and you're an avid person of this podcast. And then you know that I will be fighting at Skinkfest. I'll be fighting William Paco of, of Gas Digital, the lower level ranked fighter in this fight. I am the uh, somehow the underdog because everyone wants Paco to win, but I guarantee you, you're gonna want to be there to see for yourself. And shout out our very own sponsor, Zia Extraordinary Farms. Zia Extraordinary Farms is an amazing Delta A and CBD brand. You can go on their website, uh, zefhemp.com. It's got a cute little to, picture of Donald yeah, go, Trump. Yeah, go to Zia Ex- uh, Extraordinary Farms. And also, if you see me at Skangfest for free, no, no purchase necessary, you can get yourself your very own limited exclusive Rattlesnake CBD oil you put it on your body, make you feel all good. If you work out, if you don't, it's just it's good, fun oil. It's I give you guys a, a vial every week. Here's mm-hmm. your vial for the week. Mm-hmm. Um, Thank you, bro. Absolutely, mm-hmm. bro. So make sure to come find me at Skangfest. Give yourself some joints. Give yourself some CBD. And we'll, again, like I said, yeah. we're gonna have some rattlesnake oil for you guys. Um, guys, Skangfest is gonna be a really big weekend, really fun weekend, and we're really gonna work hard to get DC out there. So, guys, if you're a fan of Dope and Dying, make sure to come say what's up at the Skangfest weekend. It will be Kevin's first Skangfest, so make sure to start home extra love. And if you know Kevin, make sure to come say what's up to him because I'm rattlesnake he, he oil. Love that. Rub it on your tip. Rub it on your tip. Rub it on your tip. <laughs> rub it on your tip. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Rattlesnake oil. Rub, rub it on rub your it tip. On your tip. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know how it lasts so long, fellas? <laughs> Rattlesnake oil. You are. Rubbed it on my tip. Oh, you got to get some numbers. Want to know how you last so long, you skank festiers? <laughs> Rattlesnake oil. Rub, rub it on, on your tip. tip. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is Dope to Been Dying. The Sunday, Sunday Morning Smoke, Smoke Show. Show. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week. The Skank Fest Weekend. See you next week. Peace. Peace.